So I've decided to try something different here with Disc Golf Valley. They have just added in the pro shop, oops, wrong one, in the cash shop, a trilogy challenge pack, which has three discs, a Emac Judge, a Warship, and a Sapphire. And there's gonna be an in-game trilogy challenge thing that'll give you those discs in the bag. My plan here is to play just using these discs on an alternate account I made to see what I can do with just those three discs because there's some holes in this game that are really hard when you have some of the better discs in the game. As of right now, my initial plan is to go through all of the courses and attempt to get three stars. I'm going to do basically a initial run recording and then I'll see how many attempts it takes me to get three stars on the courses. Some of these, like the first one here, Sunshine Glade, is literally only going to take me the one run. It's a super easy course. It's five holes. There's no reason for me not to, along with the uh, Blueberry Hills and a couple others. So this won't be difficult at all. Oops, I need to remember to turn off the uh, whole preview and to also change it to feet. Uh, worship more than enough to get here. Yeah, I definitely probably could have just thrown the pier or the, not the pier, the Emac Judge here instead of the worship, but it was worth a try. So there's that. Birdie, easy. Moving on. Next hole. Another one. I can once more just get away with the warship. I don't believe 82 meters is all that far. Yep, here we go. Quick, easy bird again. And the, f the first couple of these are definitely going to be kind of super routine, boring holes to throw. Nothing special about them. Oh, look, I'm going to just go ahead and try my uh, judge here and it doesn't quite make it but it's pretty well parked as far as the game's concerned because there's no way I'm missing that so there's that the more interesting holes will definitely come when I get into the more challenging courses once more worship I don't even need to power that up all the way mm -hmm. If I had moved it over and powered it up, I probably could have had an ace run on that one at least. Another bird. Done and done. Hardest hole on this course. I don't know the distance, and I haven't thrown the sapphire at all. Uh, so let's just go ahead and throw some hyzer on it. Throw it down there. I probably could have gone for eagle on this 100% uh, honest no real question um there that disc had plenty of distance but i just wasn't sure the meters throwing me off and all that and there we go five down three stars first course done quick as you like that opens up blueberry thicket and oak hill and there's three discs I will never use, so I'm just going to not bother with them. Blueberry Thicket is next, and here we go. Oh, I didn't realize it would automatically throw those in my bag. Uh, let's go remove those real quick. Collection, oops, shop, not shop, collection. Get these out of here, and I'll just kind of die there and now let's go back and let's change those couple settings go from meters to feet uh, I can leave it on recommended and always skip my whole preview that way I don't have to take up all that time now I can hop into blueberry thicket uh, 300 feet on my main account I throw a extra glide worship from the Nicolo Castro pack on this hole 
So this one I know makes it no issue. Tap it in. And there's gonna be several holes where I do know where the warship makes it and the uh, judge because those are both uh, discs I use regularly with slightly different attributes because they're from the player packs that I purchased. Another bird, so here we are. Now this hole could be the most interesting one. I'm gonna just go ahead and gun it down this hallway and see how well that disc does. Oh dang, that did honestly better than I do a lot of the times uh, with a Ballista Pro, because it's not as uh, overstable, understable. And nice little throw in for the eagle with the judge. Judge is a super straight flying putter. I really like it. So that's not going to be an issue. Let's power this one up. Oop, I'm glad I hit that tree because that was going a million miles. I'll have to power that down on some shots. That one is normally a instinct hole for me just to park it real nice and clean warship hole for this one when I get it on my main account so I'm just gonna throw this warship here and see where I wind up and what nah I, I don't think it was the wind that prevented me from getting an ace run on that I think without the extra glide attribute it just doesn't quite have the distance which isn't you know necessarily a bad thing it just doesn't let me do what I want to I normally throw a keystone at this. So let's just grab the judge here and go for it. And my distance might have been okay if I had moved it a little bit further over, but get another quick putt. And another bird is completed. This hole I normally actually throw an instinct on so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the warship. It's way uphill is the reason why I throw the instinct. Oh, don't roll. Okay, didn't roll. Now I can just go for a nice little putt. Oh, okay, I did make it in. There's probably a few holes that I'm gonna have to really figure out because I normally throw an instinct now, what was an explorer. This one I normally throw an extra glide accurate musket, so the sapphire converts nicely to that. And next hole, here we are. Let me just go ahead and sky this one way up there. And right on down, here we go. Let's it float down nicely with all that angle and height. Nine down. No, ten down for three stars. And that completes Blueberry Thicket, which unlocks Lakeside and Windswept. More discs to toss out of my bag real quick. Because I have no intention to use them on this account at this point. Maybe I should just toss those completely sell them for 25 coins yeah it's not worth it I might actually need them someday if I decide to play this account primarily uh, next up Oak Hill and Lakeside in my next video most likely